Hi, in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at getting your volume keys working on the DWL Wayland Window Manager. So the, this is my config.h and what I'm going to do is take you through the steps of getting this set up on Linux and I'm also going to show you the VBSD mixer command that you need to use. So I came across this gist on GitHub with the steps outlined. Basically there's three parts. First, you need to include the xf86 key sym.h file at the top of your config.h file. You then need to actually define some commands that will be run with a keyboard shortcut. And then you actually define the keys that you're going to use. So I'll take you through this step up. So this is the notes for sort of Linux audio and pulse audio. And I'll try and explain what all these different things mean um, so it makes a bit more sense for you to get this set up so what i'm going to do is as i say switch across to my config.h file here and at the top what we've done as i said is include x11 xf86 key sym.h and that is needed so that we can access the volume keys basically so that's the first step uh, okay, come down to the commands. Okay, so what I've defined here is these three commands. So what we have is volume up, volume down, and mute volume. And what you'll see is we've got basically two sections here. The path to the mixer command on FreeBSD, which is user sbin mixer. And then an argument to that command, which is in this case, volume uh, increased by 5%, decreased by 5%, and volume mute. So the way this works is, if you have a look at this gist, basically each of these things in double quotes is space separated. So first of all, you've got the command you're gonna run and the first argument, the second argument, and the third argument. Okay, so that's how you get this sort of set up. So we define the commands there. The next step is to actually create the key bindings to run them. So if I come down here, what you'll see is this section um, under the keys. And the first thing to notice is in the first column here, these are all set to zero, whereas the other commands are prefixed with mod key. So what that means is typically you press the mod key and then you know another key so for example this key this here is mod key a spawn menu command so if i run mod key a you can see my launcher comes up okay so what the zero means is don't use a mod key prefix just use this key so you can see this is the these are the XF86 keys, um, audio, raise volume, lower volume, and um, mute. So what that basically does is mean just press, just use these keys. Don't, don't use a mod key prefix. And the reason for that is on some keyboards, you have to press a function key and then F1 or F2 or whatever. Um, if you have the mod key prefix as well, you'd have to press mod key function as well as the function key. So that's why we set it to zero. Uh, next step, what we have here is spawn dot V and then volume up, volume down and volume, volume, volume mute, which uh, correspond to the commands we created. So that's it basically. Three steps, add the include at the top, define the commands and then add, add the keys. Then what you need to do is obviously rebuild um, DWL. And um, in a previous video, I showed you how you can create all your changes in a separate Git branch and then merge that branch back into the main branch. And this allows you to keep your modifications when you do a Git pull to update the latest version of DWL. So I said, not difficult, there's just three steps. The include file, 
commands and then adding the keys and the important thing here is uh it's a good idea to put in the full path to the command that you're going to use for the audio back end and you can find that by for example on freebsd running which mixer uh, shows you the path is user sbin mixer and this is the command that we're running so if we were running this on the command line okay we'd be running mixer and that in the command line so we got two we got the command and then the argument separated by a space and that is why we have it set up like this because we've got the command we're running space you know comma space double quotes and then the argument so that should ho hopefully sort of demystify some of this um gist for you and explain you know how you can modify these commands for your audio system you know whether you're on linux or using pipewire or pulse audio or ulcer basically all you need to do is put in the path to the command you want to run and separate each argument by double quotes like that then all you need to do is actually define the keys like this so with zero as a modifier you're able to use the keys directly so that's why we have the zero here and these all correspond to the um you know we've got audio lower volume mute raise volume and those correspond to the um, commands that you've defined i will put links to all this under the video and hope that helps you get your volume key set up on DWL.